Hi guys, so I am going to be doing something in my focus different today. Yeah, that I'm going to be doing something different today. I am going to be filming from a different area of my home today because my room that I normally film in, um, we've gotten some work done, some painting and things like that. And so everything has been pretty much, if I show it, it just, I'm even embarrassed to even show it. Hopefully I can prop this up. I'm too embarrassed to even show. I'm not embarrassed, but I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, that's actually perfect. And this is real time. So what I'm doing is I'm filming in front of a small ring light and then my big picture window that I have. And I haven't been able to film, like I said, in a while. Am I too close? I feel like I'm too close. I don't know, but this is more like a vlog type. Not really vlog, I'm all over the place. Anyway, I brought some bags and stuff down and I thought that I would do my makeup in real time and show you guys, you know, even if I have acne, this is a weird, this must be from milk or something. Cause that's just like, what, why, why is that there? And some other things that's going on in my face, but I'm still gonna do my makeup and I'm still gonna show you how um, I realistically do my makeup without all the different lights because this is like real skin. Real skin, am I in focus? And then I can't find my computer uh, wire so that I can hook it up to my computer and use my computer as a monitor. And so hopefully I'm going to be in frame and clear because I can't see all the way. So yeah, hopefully it's not too loud and it may be hollow because this room is bigger. I don't know, but I'm just gonna do a quick little beat. Nothing too crazy. Like I, when I say I just brought my stuff down, I'm like I, I gotta do my makeup because I'm going out anyway. So, how you guys been doing? <laughs> a lot has been going on. It's uh, the kickoff to the summer. Um, I have been working on um, a business and a new career path, and been going to the gym, losing some weight. Well. I don't know about losing weight, but definitely toning up. I also have a, a new product here that I want to show. Yeah. Oh, no, it's backwards. Is it backwards? See, that's what I'm saying. Not me trying to look. Is it upside down? Beats by D. What about this show? Anyway, this is the Duo Lash Adhesive. And I wanted to try it. It's supposed to be like eyeliner or um, come on thing. I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm all out of sorts. But anyway, it's supposed to be able to put it on a like eyeliner and put your lashes on better. So I'm going to use those. And I'm going to be working out of uh, two Juvia's Place palettes. I'm annoyed because I don't want to keep looking this way. I want to look into the camera, but... I do. That's why I'm looking off because I usually look dead into the camera the way my stuff is set up, but now it's got me looking all over the place. I should have had all this ready, but you know, this is like real life. And I got a little mirror here so I can see. But um, a couple things that I'm going to be doing and things that I have been working on, like this is it. Is, okay, we're going to write, we're going to work right around it. I'm using the benefit precisely my brow pencil stuff is just anyway I'm using that and I'm hoping I don't lose light because it looks pretty bright but I'm hoping I don't lose light but um just going to get some um hang out with my sister and a friend of ours have a couple drinks and have a good time. Not nothing too crazy, but again, you'll see what my makeup actually looks like um, without all the uh, powders. Like I don't, you know, the way you, the way that people on YouTube do their makeup, 
for camera, we usually will not walk out like that unless it's for like an event or something like that. But just like an everyday, the application is a lot less. Well, for me anyway. So yeah, just doing my brows like I always do. I don't want to make this video too long, but as you can see, I'm just doing a light brow, not anything too crazy. Brush it through. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on these brows, so I'll at least get started on one. Am I the frame? Yeah, I'll at least get started on one. And I don't want it to, I don't want my brow to be too long. Yeah, that thing is just like, hi. It will not let me be great. Um one of the things that I did want to let you all know is that I am going to be bringing fashion to my channel. So I've been doing a lot of thrifting, thrifting. Oh my God. And when I tell you, I have been rocking up, I have been rocking up. Like it's just been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. I mean, and I guess the, the premise of what I'll be doing will be more like plus size fashion because I'm now 16. Okay, I'm back. I told you guys I'm in a different part of my house, so everybody's home. Everybody's home, so yeah, I may have to start and stop. But I did go ahead and finish a little bit more of my brow while I was uh, while I had you guys on pause. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and outline my brow. And for that, I am using the Too Faced Born This Way. There I go. I hate that I have to do all that. But I'm using the color Chestnut. So what I'll do, put a little bit on the back of my hand. Not too much. And then I'll go in, start sculpting my brow out and laying down a base. Laying down a base to clean up under my brow. This look is going to be so simple. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, I've been doing a lot of thrifting, so I'm gonna be bringing you guys a lot of clothes. Um, and how to dress them for your body shape. I mean, so today I took some video, but um, I got a whole basket of clothes and one, two, three, four, five, six purses, uh, three jackets, and a look and a host. You know, I say you know those obituaries and a host of nieces and nephews and a host of shirts. <laughs> and dresses for 18 bucks. I know. We have a Goodwill outlet. So that's where I went. I, I was only in there for an hour. <laughs> yeah, me having this texture, this big zit, like there's literally nothing I can do about it. Um, maybe I'll do it. I, I'm not gonna worry about it. It is what it is. And the only thing that I can think of with that is to um, maybe do a bold lip to distract from the zit, but I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. It is what it is. I mean, it literally is what it is. I hate that I can't see as long as I would like. Please look right on here. Anywho, so I've got that. And then, and if this is 
is your first time to my channel, then welcome. I just went right into it like everybody know who I am. <laughs> I discuss uh, lifestyles, uh, marriage, relationships, kids, aging, body, makeup, fashion, like we talk about it all. Um, important topics, all that jazz. Yeah, but I didn't want to go too far without, oh, and also I jumped from topic to topic, so you know you gotta pay attention and follow along. Okay, okay. So uh, I'm going to set my, here we go, can't focus. Come on. There's a, there we go. I'm gonna set my eyelids with this Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I got the small one because I just wanted to see how it was gonna work. It actually works really good. I don't even know. It works really good. Am I still filming? Yep, I am. I hope I don't seem like I'm rushing because I'm really not trying to rush. I'm just showing you guys literally how I would do my makeup like in real time, you know, if I was going, if I was going out, but while I'm going out. Just set that, just so there's no creasing. Some people don't use setting powder. I personally prefer it because it seems as if my brush with the powder goes on smoother and it's not so splotchy. So yeah. And when I tell you this is gonna be so simple, I'm using the Juvia's Place, the bronzed rustic palette. It looks like this. And I'll open it up so you can see what she looks like in the inside. I hope the colors are like really coming out. So I'm gonna really be focusing on this color and that color there. I look real creepy, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I know me. <laughs> Pain of mind. Pain of mind. I'm just being me. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this one color and I don't know what the color is because they're not like on the back. Um, these are really pigmented. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And what I'm gonna do is start packing it on, which is why I'm using this type of brush. It's um, fluffy. This is a Mac, oh shoot, the doll numbers off of it. A Mac 227, I believe. Yeah, it's flat and fluffy all at the same time. Don't you have your watch is constantly telling you to get up? I've been moving all day, like what? So I'm gonna pack. Go in. I'm not gonna start buffing yet. I'm literally, literally, literally just pushing it on. Do it with the other eye. Some time because if you just start buffing it right now, it's going to be um, you're going to buff it out, and you're not going to have that pigment that you need to build up the, the full color of it. So, I'm just getting it on there, and then I'll start buffing it up higher and higher. So, as I buff it up higher and higher, it'll fade out. See how I'm just going up and up, especially like since my eyes hooded on this side, I'm gonna go past my hood. So I'm going up, up, up. So if I lift my eye, see it? But if I don't, see, I just look like it's on my lid. So that's why I'm going like, I'm going like further up. I can tip my head back too. I'm still packing because I want to fill the color up. This look is so, and you can do this with any color and any palette and any, like anything. See how it's up above my hood now. Now I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna turn it this way now. 
Okay, turn this way now. And start to slowly buff it out at the top. Now I'm also bringing it up under. See how it's fading up higher? One color. I did this on um, a different video, I believe, but um, this is the look I'm going with. So, I mean, it, it, it may kind of be like a duplicate, it's unintentional now that I'm like looking at the color. I definitely did this before, but I'm using two colors this time. So, now that I've got that on there, I'm going to go in with this color here. I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to start to press that on there because it kind of changes the tone of the shadow. And you probably can't really see it. I don't know if it's coming off. Let's see if I get closer, can you see? The difference. Pressing, pressing, pressing. Oh, yeah, back to the other channel. So, I have bags and bags of clothes that I've been getting, and um, I've been having a lot of fun with them. I've been really inspired by some ladies that I watch on, uh, that I follow on Instagram. So inspiring. Oh my gosh. I will leave, um, I'll try to leave the link to, I don't even know if she has a YouTube channel. But I'll leave her Instagram handle down below. Like, I've been so inspired by this young lady. And so, yeah. Um, like, I'll put a picture here somewhere on the screen. And you can see this uh, printed skirt that I have on. It was actually a full-on dress, but the boob area was too little. So I just kind of folded it down and made it a skirt. And then um, the shirt, the shirt. The shirt that I have on is actually a man shirt, and I just kind of twisted and tucked that um, to make it more fitted. But yeah, I actually do enjoy wearing the man shirts because the arms are a little bit fuller, and um, yeah, it fits better. Who's that? Oh. So um, I took my husband's oversized shirt because my husband's a big guy, and I took one of his oversized shirts and um, made it, you know, kind of twisted and turned it, turned it, and. Did some things with it to make the top fit so i'll add some photos of that too anyway you can kind of see some of the things that um some of the ideas that i have so some of the things will be you know how to dress for your body in your age group also and i don't want to say in your age group because you're as young as you feel but fashionably um and look cute so i don't want to put myself in a box I'm like oh well a 25 year old will wear that and so I won't like no I'm not gonna go there like nope I'm not gonna do that because you could be really creative and do a lot of things and still look amazing so no 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 no. Mm -mm. but it's age appropriate for me not too crazy for my personal taste um and then also like I've gone to like express and some other places and bought like some business suits and things like that so those are also things that I'll be showing on my channel so switching it up a little bit, just some fun to do. So what did I just use? Um, I used the Huda Beauty um, mascara because I'm trying to prep my um, prep my eyes for these lashes, and I'm look, using the Kiss Look So Natural lashes. So I'm gonna be using those. And like I told you guys, I bought. Oh, this one looks kind of funky. Yeah, if you start doing lashes, um, before you put your eyelashes on, just always coat them with some mascara first. Okay, okay. This is going to be a little hard trying to do this. Thick line. I mean, you can definitely see the difference. 
right? Yeah, so my eyelash. Now the eyelash is supposed to pop on. Let's see. Let's see. I feel weird doing my makeup in here. You know how you just, I'm, I'm a creature of habit, and so I just want to go do this and this where my stuff would normally be. feels like it's magnetic bending my lash so it's just going off flat but that was really easy weirdly easy dang oh this is all bent funky so I don't know if this is gonna I think maybe this dried too long I don't know wow put them on better too I think hmm okay okay well, let's get to the rest of the face let's get to the rest of the face uh this is the Too Faced Hangover Primer so I'm gonna use that I'm over my little friend. Oh my god, I really just turned the fan on. My son cannot sleep without a fan, even though the air, the house is air conditioned. He just, I guess the sound of it, I don't know, but he just turned it on, so. Sorry if you can hear that. I know when I be looking at him, I'm like, what's that noise? Especially if it's like a smoke detector weird how you don't hear those things right um next i'm going to use this uh for sally skin tune blur primer i like to use this because it really does help my pores it helps seriously my clock i mean i'm gonna clock my battery flashing that means i gotta move the camera and then when I turn it back on, it's going to be in a different spot. Let me put so. Okay. I like to really press it here. And I don't want to lose the light either. I have this line. I thought, I've been thinking about getting some Botox just to just like right there because I got a huge line going down the center of my forehead. Really, I wouldn't mind getting that. 
because I put stuff there, but you know, it just wants to stay there. I hate that I can see myself over here because I feel like I'm looking over there too much. Um, next, I'm going to go with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys have seen me do use this a lot, and I've also done a dupe. There's an e.l.f. one that is just ten dollars that also works really good. So, something for you to try out. I'm gonna press that in. So, while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and change this freaking battery before it dies. Okay, I'm back. And that only took a minute. Now foundation. So what I've been doing this summer is I have been mixing two foundations and I honestly used to hate that but um, because I review so much makeup and foundations I actually have a lot so now I have enough to mix and match. I didn't used to but these two. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation and this is in the shade Oh Lord, medium deep 26. That coming up, and then of course this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is in Spice Rum. Now I have reviewed both of these, and they work perfectly on their own. But um, my skin is doing some things, so I found that mixing these two because this has a little bit more red or peach in it, and this is more. Um, goldeny it kind of balances each other out so it's not too much of one and too much of the other you know last time I was squirting this and like I don't even use a lot that's another thing too like real life you're not even using that much like so two squirts then I go in just mix them together And I just start with my sponge to it. I use a, a the, the flaw. I use a sponge too to put it on so that it's even more not cakey. Super natural looking. That's why I'm really glad I have this light. And I'm not going for like a flawless coverage, so that's another reason why I'm not using that much. This is like a buildable um, um, medium to buildable coverage, so I don't really need that much. But I would, I'm doing my makeup and walking out the house, so this is what I'm going to look like when I go out the public. And I did wet my sponge so it's not, that it's not absorbing too much. So I'm not going to be trying to use a lot. So that's what my skin looks like. Look at it compared to my chest, like in natural light. And y'all almost forgot about my zit, didn't you? He's like, I almost did it, and then you wanted it out, so now I see it. I gotta really see it, but. See what it looks like. Okay, so what you gonna do next? What I'm gonna do next is use this uh, Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer here. And uh, this is the shade, what is this? warm olive so I won't be using that much I 
like the I don't want to use that much. And again, I'm going to go in with this brush again. Actually, I don't really want to concealer. Yeah, I've got a concealer brush now. This is the concealer brush from um, Sephora. It's the Pro. What is this? The Pro Airbrush Detailer. It's, in, it's number 57 here. Wondering. Like. <laughs> Look at that. Blends, blends, blends. Look at that. See what I'm saying? Come on, focus. Focus. I hate that I can't see. Dang it. Yeah. See? I'll just go in with my sponge just a little bit just to kind of, you know, make it look even more natural. So after that, before I put any lighter powder on, I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. And I'm just going to go ahead and set my whole face first. Fluffy brush. And next, I'm gonna go in with where is it? The Fit Me um, loose finishing powder, and this is in the shade 35. I normally, like when I'm on camera, and depending on what I got going on, I use shade 30, which is um, it's a little brighter. But this is um, not too, too, too bright. Going on a powder brush. And I definitely am not going to be baking. I'm just going to lightly set up under there. Can tell the difference. See, just a little bit, like I'm just touching it and knocking off the excess. Right up under there. Do the forehead. Take some shine off of bring in there. Get in the lab lines. Doesn't it look good? Like it's in real time, like real time. Like I love this. Um, what am I gonna do next? Next, I'm going to go in with. Did I bring it down here? I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. So normally, um, like when I'm doing my films, my um, videos, you would see me contour with a darker. Um, makeup stick. I usually use the Lancome one, but for just every day, no. I usually go in with a light bronzer. And this is by Anastasia, and this is in the shade Mahogany. It's like that. It, like, 
this light does not do it justice so it's not as light as it looks it's not but instead of contouring I'll go in with bronzer and I'm using a big like you need a big brush like you can see how it looks on the brush add some dimension back into my face like bronzer it's one of my favorite parts of doing makeup one of the favorites Trying to see what's going on with these lashes. Oh, wait a minute, the end pulling up on here. Did I not put it down hard enough? I don't know. That was weird. Is this one? Oh, that one. I don't think I did this one that good. I don't know if I smashed it together. Anyway, yeah, bronzer. And after that, I need to finish up under my eye. So. I'm going to use the MAC uh, eyeliner, and this is in the color Feline, just a black eyeliner. I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Chocolate Palette. And I'm using this because it's got this really rich, deep brown color here. And I'm going to go in there just to smoke out my lower lash line. I love doing this too. It just, to me, it just completes the look. I love doing this. Difference? Come on, is it? Can you see the difference? Okay. We'll go back in. To this one here and grab some of that color there and really bring it around to make it look a little bit more cohesive uh, also got some well you know what I can use this powder brush Minted Cosmetics um, blush, and this is Peach for the Stars. It's kind of orangey, and it's a little shimmery also. Come on, it's blurry. Gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry about this. I gotta get it together. There's a little highlight on that too, just a little bit. But see, uh-uh. These lashes are lifting. Mm, okay, nope. They're lifting. Uh-uh. These are lifting. Now they look wonky. See? Nope, nope, nope. nope. Uh-uh. Nope, now I need my dual lash glue to fix it. Like, uh uh. Nope. Should I went in with two coats? I don't know, but it's lifting. Mm -mm. Uh, let me go ahead and put some. I'm supposed to be needing at 6 30, it's 5 53. <laughs> This is like straight up lifting. Mm -mm. Seriously? Ugh. 
Where are we? Unbelievable. The uh, I don't like that. I don't like that it's doing that. Uh, to finish it off, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this is in rose gold. It's a highlight. I'm gonna get a different color. I love this one, but I like theirs because they're just like really soft. They're not so harsh. But I've been using this one a lot lately, I notice. I think we should take some of that focus off of that, but <laughs> I'm just using a little, like I'm not even using a whole lot. Come closer. In this light, you can see. It's not that much. I'm going to use this here. And here. To finish this off, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. And I'm using the NYX Professional Matte Finish uh, Makeup Setting Spray. This lash is just not... I don't, I'm going to have to use this again before I give you the final because I'm, I'm, at, at this point I'm not really happy with it. Like, no. Um, let me go ahead and throw my clothes real quick and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so I am back and the last thing I have to do is add some lip gloss and I'm using the uh, Fenty Beauty, what is this? This is the color Cheeky. That was cute. Not too much, just a sheer wash of color. You need to worry about lining your lips. Things like that. I don't know if this camera is not get closer. And this eyelash is still not letting me be great, but yeah. Is it focused? And I've got some like ripped shorts on and this little top I got from Amazon. Can't really see it, but plus these braids are like really long. But yeah, that is the look. Hope you guys enjoy this like quick. This hair is cute, but it gets tangled. I hope you guys enjoy this quick get ready with me. Um, yeah, I am really late, but yeah, I wanted to uh, stop in and say hey. And um, I told you guys that I would be trying to be more consistent and I was doing good but then we got our house done and you know how that could go but yeah real time not a lot of powder um not overly done but like if you were sitting next to me you wouldn't be like oh my gosh yeah a lot of makeup on it would just be oh it's soft it's pretty um one wash of color but as you can see the color I was like going for this like color in here like that's what I was trying to pull from with this, um, but I thought it was real soft. So, thank you guys so much for joining my channel. Uh, again, I always appreciate the support. Uh, make sure you hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, if you are new here, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.